we test software at Microsoft, the Chapter 2 video podcast. Uh, my name is Ken Johnston, and this is Alan Page. Our co-author, B.J. Rollison, couldn't make it today. We do hope he makes it sometime soon because his chapters are coming up. Uh, in Chapter 2, in chapter two uh, we go into a, a fairly a fair amount of detail about the role of SDETs at Microsoft. And SDET? SDET stands for Software Development Engineer in Test. And uh, I'll, I'll cover some about the, the, the importance of that title in a second. But when I was doing the research, it's interesting that at the very beginning, there were, no, there were just engineers at Microsoft. But when we first started to create the different engineering disciplines, and we covered that in chapter one of the book, uh, one of the first engineers, one of the first specialized engineering roles that we ever came up with at Microsoft was a, was a tester. And the first tester was actually Lloyd Frink, and he was hired as a summer intern in 1979. Um, now back to the, to the SDAT thing. Um, at Microsoft, we've had several different titles for testers, uh, software test engineer, SDE, and SDET, and SDET with a slash, and SDET without a slash. And I remember it was about three or four years ago, uh, we got the test leadership team together, and uh, we covered that in one of the last chapters of the book, the role of the test leadership team. And I was in the room, I think you were part of Engineering Excellence at the time, but I was in this room and we were debating uh, an update to the career path for testers, and everybody thought we needed to have a new title. And the one that was going around that most people seemed to like was SQE, Software Quality Engineer. And I just heard in my head, squee, squee, squeegee. And I, or, or, I, maybe, or maybe, squee, squee, <laughs> squee, squee. Anyhow, I just did not like that title. Uh, fortunately, we, we, had, we settled back on the SDET title. And that's really important because when we hire SDETs at Microsoft, we, we hire them straight out of college a lot of times with a computer science degree, same as developers or we hire them from industry, and uh, they have oftentimes a lot of development experience, uh, and they're new to testing, which is why we have to do so much uh, test training at Microsoft, it's just not that well taught inside of, uh, inside of colleges. And we wanted to signify the, the, the relationship with the developers by using software development engineer. That's what we call our, our developers, SDEs. And so testers are SDEs in test. Now, I know you like to rip me, because at Microsoft, career path-wise, I've always been in management. I started as a test lead, became a test manager, a director of test, but you've had a much more interesting career, and since we cover this whole manager IC career path, why don't you share some of that? And first, I'd like to point out that uh, Ken's uh, pointy hair isn't showing today, but um, <coughs> usually it's quite prominent. Um, I've been a manager twice at Microsoft. Uh, the first time, um, kind of out of necessity on the team, and then uh, most recently with the Test Excellence, test excellence team. Um, but my career aspiration is to remain an individual contributor. I, I want to be deep technical and do the things that a non-management role can do. One of the reasons I took on the, um, the Test Excellence leadership role is that it's really a lot more of a leadership role than a management role, and it's really enabled me to do and see and experience some things I wouldn't I may not have had a chance to otherwise. Um, but when I leave this role, I'm going back to being an IC. Um, I like doing that. And the, and the thing that allows me to do that, which is really cool, is that at Microsoft, you don't get promoted into management. Management isn't a promotion. It's just you're either on the manager track or you're on the IC track, and you can bounce back and forth. But you get the exact same amount of money. You get the exact same scope of influence. You just It's the way you choose to contribute. Are you saying you could make it all the way to vice president as an individual <clears throat> contributor? Absolutely. We have technical fellows at Microsoft, which is a vice president level job, including vice president salary and whatever vice president perks there are, and that's that, that technical fellow role. No, and, and I agree with you. I think it's great. I mean, I have settled on the management career path, and I think it's great that people can go the IC career path. They can go into management for a while and go back into being an IC really gives you a lot of options um, yeah, it's, for your career. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely agree. Now we already mentioned some that the engineers we hire into Microsoft tend to have a lot of development skills but don't know a lot of testing. Now, you have replaced me in the engineering excellence team running that and that's where all of that test training comes mm -hmm. out. Why don't you cover you know, what's going on and some of the new sure. sessions I left? All right, well one, as Ken kind of alluded to, uh, one chunk of what we do in, in engineering excellence is we provide 
technical training for the employees. And there's a, a diagram in the book that shows um, uh, new employees start off with new employee orientation, which is uh, offered through our human resources group. And then we have uh, a new to SDEP course, which is basically a crash course in the stuff that you didn't learn in college because you didn't have a testing class. Uh, and then beyond there, we have a ton of electives of model-based testing and test automation. And That sounds like a lot of the chapters in the book. Well, as I mentioned uh, in a previous podcast, a big part of the book is based on our courses and the stories we tell and you know, the way we teach those courses kind of what makes the, both the courses powerful and makes the book interesting as well. Um, hot off the press, if you want to know something that's not in the book, um, we are just in the process of adding an engineering at Microsoft course, which all new engineers will take. It'll kind of fit in between the new employee orientation and uh, the new to testing course. You mean a class where dev testing? Yeah, get to learn it, it's to, cross to discipline. Out at the very it's it's based <laughs> pretty much, <laughs> but it's all the, the kind of the tribal knowledge and the folklore that we count on people to learn on their own. Oh, uh -huh. but we thought if we could get all that information to them right off the bat, maybe they could be successful sooner in their career at Microsoft. Great. So that's the plan there. We have uh, more model-based testing courses coming online um, to line up with Chapter 5 in the book. We have a course coming out on advanced combinatorial testing. Advanced combinatorial. Does, doesn't that sound exciting? Combinatorial was, was pretty tough. There's advanced yeah. <laughs> combinatorial. Now. You know, Great. the funny thing is, I mentioned that, there are some testers, some people watch the video going, advanced what? And there's, but there are some testers going, woohoo! <laughs> well, I'm even working with your team. I'm not part of it anymore, but um, a, a new That's module right. software plus services testing. So taking my recent experience and part of what we wrote in the chapter, but really turning it into an education. Right. Another, another gap we want to address is more training on how we test software plus services. So Great. That's, that's kind of what we do. We um, we look for where the skill gaps are and make sure we want to be just in time or maybe a little bit earlier, giving people what they need to uh, to help in their career. Well, why don't you tell a little bit about what we're going to cover in the next podcast? I will. Next, The next podcast is Chapter 3, which is how we take all these engineers, testers included, and we get them to make software as far as processes and models and steps and how do we go from a bunch of people in a room to getting software out the door. Um, the book is called How We Test Software at Microsoft. If you want to know more about it, um, you can go to hwtsam.com. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.